same protocol, raise your hands, uh, name and identification. Coach will open up with some opening comments, please. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, the best thing about 3-0 is a chance to go 4-0. That's about it. Uh, you enjoy the win. And uh, against a very quality opponent, uh, Cal, very good athletes, well coached. And uh, our guys found a way. You know, I thought, I've been in games before, I thought we're going to lose. You know, we get that. I just kept waiting. You know, I thought someone would make a play. I really did. And uh, to see Devin Smith, you know, have an athletic quarterback that gets you out of trouble, sometimes it gets you in trouble. But uh, uh, what's going to happen is we're going to have to throw the ball. We're going to have to uh, become efficient throwing. And we've gotten better. I mean, when you take a look at the evolution in the past, was it been 12 months or 24 months, whatever it's been, but, uh, you know, since Braxton became our quarterback, he's much better, but we got a long way to go. And it's kind of turning into that kind of uh, world for us right now that there, you know, there's a lot of players, people, numbers committed to stopping the run. And uh, the good thing is we are developing some receivers. You know, Devin Smith had a hell of a day. I mean, a couple of great plays. And, uh, Billy Brown's a good player. You know, Evan Spencer's still on. Jake had a decent day. So we were starting to develop a little bit of depth. And you think about where that was to where it is now. I mean, I, if this would have happened in April, whatever, 7th, and said, okay, they're going to be able to stop the run. I don't know, you know, to figure out a way to score. You know, now uh, I, I think we just have to do a good job and find a way to throw the ball a little bit better. Uh, on defense, bad tackling. That's all I know. Bad tackling. We're going to get that figured out. You know, it's, uh, it's time to play you know, Ohio State defense, and that wasn't Ohio State defense at all. So we've got to get that thing worked out. I uh, know it won't be from a shortage of effort, so we're going to get it worked out. And, uh, and you know, John Simon played her today. Kind of just gave a emotional speech and a lot of guys with uh, you know, sore shoulder. They kept telling me all week that it should be fine, should be fine, should be fine, and just to heal as, as fast as they hoped. And uh, boy, that he, he just lost it in the locker room as far as just sharing open and up just his soul for his team. And I've done this a long time, man. And uh, he's as good enough. Just you can mark that down there. Put, uh, put a jersey up there or something that's John Simon because that's a that's a grown ass man. Excuse my language. That's a that's a guy. That's a. Uh, if we have another child, I want to name him as an urban for John Simon Myers. <laughs> that that. That's, uh, that's how much I love that guy. And I'm not ashamed to say I love him. I love that guy. Man. It makes, you, uh, makes all of us look in the mirror and say, we're doing enough for our team. And I got what, what he just did there. I'm not going to give you too much going on there, but you know, am I doing enough? When I say hi to the coaching staff, we're doing enough. We're doing as much as he's doing. I do more. I do more. I need to fire it up. And uh, that's what this great game teaches you. So with that said, uh, great respect for the team we just played and the coach, who I know. And best thing about 3-0 is what? Chance to go 4-0 and get a little better. Question. All right, over here. Yeah, coach, you're playing all ABC 6. More, con more excited about the rally or concerned about defensively? Yes. You get 6 Yes, back. yes, yes, yes. You always say yes, yes, yes. yes. But you give up 512 you. yards. Um, yeah, terrible. I mean, return like that. I wish I had some magic hands if we don't tackle very well right now. Stupid penalties, we got some push for top 50 there. You better get that cleaned up or lose me. And, uh, and once again, I don't have a magic answer for you. We're going to do 10 push ups after we commit a penalty. I don't know. We're going to get better, though. I can promise you, we're going to get better. You know, how long it's going to take? A lot of, a lot of moving parts to get better. Were you concerned about Cal's pace and the way they looked like they had the yeah. jump on your second half? Yeah, they did. And I think that was a product of lack of offense, you know, four and out, four and out, four and out, three and out, three and out, three and out, three and out. And I can't remember how many of them were in a row. That's after kind of coming out of the blocks. But you remember how we came out of the blocks? We came out of the blocks with some, with some big hits. And that's going to be, you know, it's going to be maybe a hit show for a while until they for, we force people to defend us. And uh, I'm getting more comfortable with it. And I think, uh, you know, that's going to be part of it. I'm talking about the passing game. Front? Uh, both. Bo Bishop, BNS Radio and TV, already? I mean, that's it yet. Coach, the uh, offensively, you guys had it humming, three straight scoring drives. Then there's a the long wall. You mentioned the three and out, three and out, three and out. What did you guys do to get it right, though? Because when you needed scoring drives, in the end, you got them. Yeah, we uh, executed a blocking on the perimeter. Evan Spencer, against kind of an unsung hero, but the two of those drives at the end, he did a great job. That's a, you know, do it. They did a nice job. They take away our perimeter run game and fire that corner from the field. And we got inside. I mean, those were the, those runs. Jordan had a couple plays, and then uh, Braxton had a couple nice passes, and uh, you know just executed at the right time. If you think about the long yardage plays, because it's just bad penalties, man. 
second and 25 to harder to recover from. Third down, and I, you know, I, I want a headset to look at second down and 25. I, I don't have on my sheet the second and 25 call. Uh, so we have to obviously fix it. The ways to fix it are you demand and you coach it better, or you eliminate, you know, you make changes in personnel. And the people who commit violations or penalties are still known, and they got either, either fix it, there's not many choices. Like I said, it's not five push ups if you do a, it's either you, you fix that or you're out. You know, get someone else in there, but then we got to find out who the next guy is. Far right, Tim? Yeah, uh, Urban, on the uh, on the winning touchdown pass, was that, did y'all see that there, that their safety might be a little anxious if it comes wide, or is that just pure Braxton Miller? That's true, that was, a, that was a scramble. That was a scramble, go short, go deep, deep, go short, and uh, that's what he did. Uh, so Braxton, that's one thing that I, you hear people in the NFL, I heard it the other day on TV, he said the quarterback that can extend the play, he extended the play and make one. Well, what were your conversations like with Braxton uh, during the game, especially in that second, third quarter, though, when they, Nobody seemed to know what they were throwing up front at. It looked like. I mean, is, yeah, is well, they changed. Uh, they kept going to the, the. You know, if you really watch the you know, football guy, you understand they want their defense four down, their defense four down, and paralyze their offensive line a little bit. And uh, and uh, and I, I'm just trying to stay. You know, keep them calm, keep them cool, keep rolling. You know, I love Coach Braxton. There's not a whole lot of panic with him. Uh, you know, the one where you got to take care of the ball. He's trying to force the. You know, trying to force a play on that the interception. But that's not. You can't do that. You can't do that. So he's fine. I mean, he's fine. Just a maturation as a quarterback. And uh, it's happening right in front of the Ohio State's eyes. Left back, Doug. Urban, you, you talked all week about wanting your defense to get more pressure on the quarterback. You guys blitzed more today. What did you think of the risk or reward of that, of how that worked out? You know, I don't, I don't, because a lot of times I don't watch. I'm gonna, I'll let you know on Monday. Uh, obviously, when I see a team that ran for that many yards, we have any poor tackles as we had. And, uh, we got other issues on top of that risk or excuse me, pressure the quarterback. So we got to get it corrected and I'm going to find out. Far right, Bob. Uh, Urban, can you tell what John Simon did? Did he blame him on himself? Or no, 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 no. He just, uh, he almost didn't play. I didn't know that because they told me all week that he should be fine. Uh, he didn't practice much because of the shoulder, sore shoulder. There was, there was no ligament damage or something like that. But it's, uh, you know, I mean, when you say sore, for most human beings, they're probably, uh, you know, probably really up the State Medical Center, because you know, that's, that's how tough he is. And he just because he almost did play this game, and he goes so hard, so that, that's kind of it. And the other question I had is the penalties. Two weeks in a row, you had 10 or 11 penalties for you. Bad ones, too. You know, I don't agree with the PI. I think those guys went after the ball. I picked one at the end, the third down at 21. No, was it 30 21? I just watched it in the middle of the field, and the uh, guys are going after the ball. Uh, I haven't seen the personal fouls. My eyes are here that I see it. I know we had a bad one. Uh, once again, I'll have more for you after I watch it. But whatever I do that Monday, Monday, I'll let you know Monday. I just off the top of my head. Back left, Bill. Fourth touchdown pass, I think it was. It got so crazy. And second one to Stoneburner. It was very, very reminiscent of a Tebow play. What did you talk about that? That was a jump pass. It was a pass that uh, um, I saw, and everyone else in the world saw, with Braxton Miller. They had uh, the world to stop Braxton. And uh, they came up with a really good execution by Jake Stormer to block it and then release it back in the end zone. But that's something. That's a, if you're counting the quarterback, that's a hard one to stop. Far right over here, Derek. Hey, over here. Um, two questions actually on Jake, the subject. You talked uh, before about trying to find ways to utilize him better. You had a big game, like a 40 yarder down the middle, also had a couple scores. First of all, if you could just tell us about his evolution in the offense and also Devin Smith's day. Dropped a couple, but also had some huge catches. Yeah, he did drop a couple, but uh, he's a, you know, we need a home run hitter. I mean, when you take a really hard swing, every once in a while, got to hit it out of the park. Um, and he did. I thought that one uh, execution of when, uh, when uh, Braxton fired it on him, we ran back to back deep balls. One to Jake and one to uh, Devin. And he back shouldered it. And that was a big league play, catch, throw and catch. So Jake is a guy that uh, uh, he needs to get more involved, he needs to play better. And we need to coach better, and so he's, he's going through the development phase as well. And uh, that was a big game for him. That was a big, big play right down the middle field for us, too. He's got, he's got skill, we've got to continue to find ways to evaluate and take care of. You know, he's not that big 260 pound tight end that you want, and he's not quite fast enough that you like to extend. So he can do a little bit of both, but we, I still think uh, once his legs get back underneath him, we'll be the last thing even more next week. Well, Urban, what you got out of uh, Jordan Hall today? Did you think you'd get his, I mean, 17 carries, I think 87 yards. Uh, did yeah, you I anticipate that? Happen. No, uh, I, 
did not think that was going to happen. Uh, he just kept going though. And, uh, I think he was rusty. I think there's more yards there. I think he could have came out of a few things that he normally will. Uh, but uh, I love it. I love Jordan Hall. He's given a lot for us and our staff, so we're going to get back to him. And, uh, he had a good day. I mean, he just, uh, that's the first time he was went hard and, um, you know, since he got hurt. Front, Bill. So, uh, my question about Jordan Hall and Nathan Williams, they both play virtually the whole game. Is that a reflection of just how good they are, or maybe you don't have faith in others behind them? Probably both. I, I think that's a pretty strong statement. They don't have faith that they're just young and they're still learning the game. And the game's that tight. You know, you want your dudes in there and your guys. And uh, to say Rod Smith and Brown, they don't have faith in them, that's too harsh, as I do. Uh, and then the guys behind, whether it be uh, Noah Spence, those are, there's one common denominator about most of those guys who are very young. They're, they're still green. So we got to get one green here real quick. We need Back left lack left. of faith is just a struggle. It's just a struggle to say that, but I just obviously we're not in there, so there's, we have more confidence than the other guys. Doug, back left. Urban, we've talked after every game about the number of carries for Braxton, or 12 carries for him today. Was that a conscious effort in the game plan, or was that partly a reflection of just how Cal was playing you guys and trying to take that away? Yeah, they, uh, both. I think uh, we were very conscious of it. Uh, also, Cal, Cal did good. Cal uh, had people assigned to Braxton Miller all day. I think it's going to be that kind of game, that kind of year now. Uh, and I've had that happen before. You know, that's your tail. Uh, but we, you got to throw the ball. you got to really throw it. And, uh, the good thing is when we throw it, it's usually pretty clear what the coverage is. It's you against you, and you got to go in. We have time for a few more. Adam on the right. Austin, excuse me. Herman, you referenced the scramble deal on Devin's touchdown. Is that something that's developed over the summer that you've been harping on you know, through training camp that they had to do that stuff? On their own and build that sort of rapport and know where everybody's going to be. Yeah, I mean, plus we coach it. I mean, every every staff does. I mean, Pascal from seven on seven. when you go uh, offense against defense every Tuesday, and Wednesday, and uh, we always tell our quarterback, don't don't throw it away at that time. You can scramble, stay alive, and don't run. And uh, that, that takes time to develop it. And you have to, you only have to be real disciplined. Because everybody wants to stand there and have open, open, no. If you're in a certain area of the field, you take off, and that's what Devin did. Far left, Brandon. Coach here. Uh, we talked to uh, Coach Knight last night, and he was talking about how he's not very positive, or he wasn't very positive with his players, um, you know, in a, game, in a situation like this. I'm just curious how you're What's he, Bob Knight yet? <laughs> <laughs> not to make that comparison, but I was just curious how you are with your guys in the locker room after a game like this where you said you felt like maybe there was a time where you felt like you were going to lose. I guess I've just lost enough games to know that when you enjoy, go enjoy. Now, tomorrow's going to be, I wouldn't say tomorrow will be all peaches and cream, but you know, yeah. <laughs> Today was you know, enjoy a win, man, and uh, we're, we're best chance. To, best thing about three all the chance to four and all. We have a nice little thing in there. To defend the shoe, we did against Pac-12, Pac-12, Pac Big Ten. You won. Go enjoy your families, and uh, let's go to work. The good thing is they expect to go to work now. I, I see it in their eyes. So, last question. I'm right, Lori. You referenced a bad penalty earlier. When you're watching film, what's the difference between a bad penalty and I guess when you can live with? Well, I think the guys going after the ball, the one down the middle of the field, uh, they're just going after the ball. That should not be a penalty in my in my world. You know, now I, it might be wrong when I watch the film, it might be a penalty. Uh, the ones late hits on quarterbacks, I think Corey Lindsley had one right in front of us that was, I didn't see it on video, but I saw it and I, I kind of got after him. That's, that's just stupid, ignorant penalties. Uh, right tackle jerking on the one yard line going in, that's a stupid penalty. You know, going after balls and your feet get tangled up, and that's, that's football. I don't think so. I'll let you know on Monday, but uh, it was kind of, I don't want to say it was new to me, because I had a sore shoulder, but the whole week they said, I was going to be fine, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. The thing about John is, he doesn't say much to you. He doesn't say much to you other than, I'll be ready, I'll be ready. He's going to say, my shoulder's a long way from my heart. I said, I got you, John. <laughs> you guys have a good day. Thank you. All right, folks, we can get more chairs.